Yeah, eat mate. Today I'm going to show you how to flush that heater matrix and get that proper heat back into your car. I'm left behind, obeyed the light, but always a goal. Okay, so this are the main symptoms of a clogged heater core. I'm going to turn it. That's on hot all the way. And it's it's not freezing, but it's it's not nowhere near as hot as it should be. And what happens is after time and time the heater core gets clogged with dirt and debris and that stops the water passing through nicely and it stops the blow up blowing the hot air through. Because what it does is that the hot air will come in and it will stay in there and then the blower whoosh, will blow it this way. So that's a bad symptom. Okay, so firstly, you've got to understand what the heat matrix actually is. Think about it as another radiator in your car. But this one, instead of trying to cool the car down, it provides heat. So what it'll do is, cool will cool down here, into the engine. And then before it passes to the radiator to cool down, it'll go up into the heat matrix, through there, come back down, and then go to the radiator to cool down. So, what you've got to do is you've got to find two pipes which go into the firewall from the engine. So, there they are. So, there's one pipe there, and another one underneath it. You can just see that. So, one is an inlet, it'll go through and then come back out the other. Okay? So, what we're going to do is push them out with water, or if you've got an air compressor, that's just as good to be honest. What we're going to do, we've not got an air compressor, so we're just going to use hose pipe so first of all what you got to do is you got to determine which one's the inlet and which one is the outlet so what we're going to do is we're going to come and start the car And you want to leave that running for about five, ten minutes. And then what you can do after five, ten minutes, you can feel the pipes. And whichever's the hottest, that one is the inlet pipe. Okay, so the engine's been running for about five minutes. I'm gonna grab them and feel which one is hotter. Okay, so the top one is definitely hotter. So the top one is the inlet pipe. It's a good tip as well, just to side something flat underneath your car. Try to position it. Because if coolant drips on the floor, it's not very good to animals. So put something underneath. Try to position it well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take them off at the firewall. Now, on mine, there is a locking, now with these cars, there is a locking ring at the back there, and it should be on, it should be attached, but on mine, someone's thankful left it off. Cheers, guys. But what you gotta do is get a flathead screwdriver, that should be on just like that, and if you get a flathead screwdriver and you just poke it off, it'll come off. Then what you wanna do is, there's this clip, And then there's a clip there. If you just push that down and pull it towards you, just like that, and then you can start to twist it sideways. Twist and pull, and it should come off back there. Got to give away. Now, what you want to do is when you pull that off, lift it higher than the car, because then gravity will stop the coolant from coming out, which is already in that pipe. A little bit might come out now. There you go. That's fine leave that like that so there is coolant in there but if you just leave that high in the pipe i'm gonna wedge it there and then i'm gonna get onto the next pipe so that one's off i'm gonna try to go for this one now it looks like the locking ring is also off this one so i'm gonna try again push it down pull it towards me just like that and then twist these are quite Persistent, but if you keep twisting it, I don't go to sleep. 
twist on pull let it go. I'll leave that up as well. Okay, so with them, the top one is the inlet and the bottom one is the outlet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush water through the bottom one with a hose pipe and then it will come out the top. The reason with it why we reverse it is that if you flush it the normal way which the coolant would flow, I mean that flows through that every day so the dirt that's stuck in that way won't come out the other end. So what we're going to do is reverse it and it will hopefully push the dirt out. I'm going to grab your trusty old hose pipe and now ooh. And then what you want to do is set that up in there and now this is a little bit small this one it's a little bit small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the end it's a mechanics tip and a bit of tape until you get the right fit just going to do a couple of layers Perfect. Yes, yeah, so I got the hose pipe. I'm going to go into there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap some tape around that just in case Wilson doesn't know what can get back out this way. Yeah, so once you've got that one on, you're going to get another piece of spare hose, do the same thing to the end. Right, try that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so when you've got both of them on there, bottom one in, this one. Oh, I'm going to put some more tape around that now. You want to bring it and you want to put it lower than the, than the first point. So grab it, it'll help bring it down. So I'm going to put it over and down the front here. And then I'm going to grab it and put the end into this cold bottle so we can see the dirty water. So I've got this one from the hose pipe. The green one is going in to the outlet hose and then that will go through the heater backwards and then come out through this. And I've got this coming down there into a cold box so I can see the results. Let's turn it on. So the worst thing is, I'm gonna have to turn it on here and then run to the car just in case anything doesn't go right. <laughs> so here we go. Now it's coming out. See all the dirt in there? That big piece of dirt, so I'm going to have to run back quick because that bottle's filling up. Turn that off. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so there is big blocks of dirt at the bottom. You see that? The coolant looks pretty nice, but I did just change it a couple weeks ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bigger bottle and then I'm going to go again. Okay, so we're in the container, I'm gonna put that in there. This time I'm gonna turn the, full, the hose pipe on full blast quickly, let it fill up and then turn it off and then we'll check the bottoms of that one as well. So guys, we've got the two containers here. Now this one, I know you're thinking, oh, look, it's a nice color coolant, but I did a coolant flush about two weeks ago. So we're not really looking for the color of the coolant, we're just looking for the things that the coolant flush didn't get out. And that would be everything at the bottom of there. Now look at that. That was from the first flush. Now that is a lot of dirt. Now that is what a coolant, a full coolant flush uh, didn't pick out. All that. Now this is the second one. It looks pretty clear to be honest. I mean there's a little bit of dirt at the bottom. But I think that's sufficient enough. I don't think, I don't think we need to do another... Uh, you can see, I mean, 
clearly it's clushed, that's white because that flushed all the coolant out of it which is already in the system that one just got the water through and look at all that dirt I mean that is a lot that's a lot of dirt so I'm not sure I might just do one more flush just to make sure we don't get any dirt at the bottom of this container and then put it all back together okay just on the last flush that's what it came out like and there's no dirt at the bottom so if we compare that to our first one flush I'm thinking that would have helped a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to put everything back together in the car and get started on go for a drive about 10-15 minutes and then see if it's work with the heat okay so we've got the hose pipes off we're going to push these down and you can see which one they'll be so the, the top off the throttle body will go to the top there so this, I'll get the bottom one first it's easier so you want to slide that on so you want to like this with them on and now if it doesn't look if it won't push down what you got to do is you got to push it in all the way oh, until it clips and then you should be able to so wiggle it on and then that should push forward push that forward there we go all the way and now that closes the thing. Okay, we're going to get the second one. Just step. So there we go. Push it on. Push it in nice and tight. And then you can go to pushing that forward. A little bit difficult when your hands are all wet. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put your hand, press down on the top bit of the back clip and then push that towards the firewall and that should close, tighten it down just make sure it's fully pushed forward ok the top one's a little bit trickier, just make sure you get your hands get one finger either side or one hand either side push it in Doing that, so I'm going to top it up and then we're going to take it for a drive. Okay, so one more thing to note, guys definitely don't pull this down the drain or even worse outside because it is poisonous and you don't want that going through animals or anything like that. So take that to your nearest scrapyard or whatever, or your recy not scrapyard, recycling place, and they'll sort that out for you. Okay, guys, so I've been driving around for about five minutes now and it's the moment of truth. So I'm going to turn on the blowers and then I'm going to see if it's made a difference. Yeah, it's definitely warmer. I mean, it could get hotter. I mean, I've definitely been in cars where you put it on full blast like, whoa, fuck, that's too hot. But this is, oh, it's warmer. It's definitely warmer. Yeah. Now, now, it's, been, now it's been flushing through. It's definitely worked. So, happy Lockwood. Can finally get some heat back in the car. I have to wait 30 minutes just to get some ice defrost off the fucking window. So for that, for for completely free for a little bit of water, that's made such a difference. So if, if this, if the video did help you, please like the video. And if you want to see more, especially especially related to Astra's, subscribe.